Today is Trevor's 11th birthday and he got some, you, I hate your, your seatbelt. My mom's seatbelt is so bad. Anyway, he got a lot of like um, gift cards and cash in the mail. So we are just taking him to go shopping. It's just me and my mom and then Chris is staying home with Parker and Jackson. So that is what we are going to do. It is hot, humid outside. It's actually cooler than it has been, but I'm driving now. What game are you wanting? With your gift card. Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet. You having fun for your birthday so far? Yesterday was more fun though, huh? Today is just spend all your money day? Yep. <laughs> we walk in the mall and he goes, I'm hungry. Right as soon as you smelt that food court stuff, huh? Yeah. A bad place for two people with moderate hearing loss to order food is at the food court at the mall because it was so loud we could not hear the ladies behind the counter. It was just a guessing game as to what they were saying, huh Trevor? Yeah, it's bad. We have really bad hearing loss, me and Trevor do, so. Is that good, Subway? Uh-huh. He got to cho choose where he wanted to eat for his birthday and he chose Subway at the mall. Alright, I'm going to do two gripes. Two, two little stories for you guys. We were at Target and we used a gift card. Trevor had two gift cards, a $20 gift card and a $5 gift card to use. And the price of the item wasn't $25, but it was just over 20. And when the guy gave us the gift card back, Trevor said $4.30 left. Isn't that what he said? And the guy said, oh, how much did you say it was? And Trevor said $4.30. He goes, no, it's $3.30. There's math and tutor supplies over there. And first of all, I thought that was really rude. I'm sure he wasn't meaning to be rude, but I took it as he was being rude. And Trevor brought it up while we were eating at Subway that he thought that was pretty mean of him as well. That's one gripe. Keep your, keep, just don't make comments like that. Second gripe, we're walking out to our car just now from the mall and there is one guy sitting in the middle of the aisle waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to pat back up. Which, yes, that's a pet peeve of mine. However, the guy behind him started honking at him. Like, that's going to help anything. But we were walking to the left side of that guy, and he got so mad at the car in front of him that he wasn't even paying attention to his surroundings at all. And he quick swerved over to try to get around this guy who was sitting in the middle of the parking lot aisle and almost hit Trevor and me. I was just like, come on. What the heck, people? That that got my heart pounding, and I did say something to the guy when he got out of the car. I was like, just so you know, this is what you did. Instead of, you know, you were so focused on the car that was wasting your time that you almost hit my son. You know, just try to, you have to remember to have better watch, how did I say it? Better watch your surroundings or pay attention. I was, I was mad. Anyway, we are going to go to, I think, Toys R Us because he wants to look for another board game. And then I think we're going to go to a bookstore because he likes to read. So, Chris is cleaning, so I'm staying out of the house. <laughs> staying out of the house. You like this? Like global domination. Continental game. What game did he get the other day? It's right this over. over I'll show you what he got for his birthday. He likes those games like Risk. He got this one. Stratego or whatever. Whoa, whoa. -oh. Jeez, Louise. Anyway, it's kind of like Risk. Taboo. We are definitely a board game family. We like family games and board games and all that kind of stuff. And apparently Trevor picked up on that and takes after me. I will love the games. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Pandemic. Did you see this? Can you save humanity? Pandemic. It's $40. True. Board games can get pretty spendy. Yeah, they Jackson was so good while we were gone. I promised him a treat if he behaved good for his dad. And he did. So what'd you get? Gummy worms. Gummy worms. So I've come to the conclusion, guys, he does need a haircut. Look to the side. Like around his ears and in the back. Turn around. You see? Well, you can see his bald spot because we haven't done his hair today because he's just hanging out at home. 
But it was so good we got gummy worms. I'm gonna show them again in in front of them. Okay. Like they can't see it that way. See, you have to put it in front of the camera. You have to um, put it in front of the camera. Is it like sports? Yep, they can see it. Okay. <laughs> I can see it. Look, look. I'll do it for you. Look. Okay. Look. See it? Well, yeah. <laughs> Why is it giant? This is so funny. Anyway, I am relaxing my feet up on the computer chair. And Trevor got um, Little Big Planet. Is that what it's called? So he's going to test, test that out. I'm having some pudding. And I'm going to relax for a little bit. Or try to. Parker's under my legs now. So anyway. So I have a and that is wrong to me because it's an and wrong to me. See? You're doing a good video. Yeah. And so I'm Jackson. Dad knows to go outside and get ants off of me and bugs. And we went swimming and chasing on on the mountain and then we went back home and then I just drawed my wizard on the mountain. See? I know it's too hard because it's Good job. I'll put it in the vlog, okay? Okay? Okay. I'll put it in our vlog today. Why did you have to? I'm so tired. Because I was so lazy, we decided to watch a movie. Me and Jackson decided to watch a movie. We are watching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. We got a bowl of popcorn here. Trevor and Parker are in the background playing. What game are you playing? A Pokemon game? Yeah, they're playing like Pokemon or something. Trevor got some cards for his birthday, so they're playing that. And I am being so lazy. There is actually a storm coming in, and I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to go out and try to photograph it. If I go look for a storm, you can come with me. Um, he's allowed to come with me as long as they're not like dangerous storms or tons of lightning or anything. And he just said, thank you. Uh, I'm just so lazy and I kind of have a headache, so. Um, as you know, I, I quit drinking. I'm sorry, it is so loud. Movie time and game time. and uh, if As you guys know, I quit drinking pop quite some time ago, like well over a year ago. But I'm drinking a pop now, along with um, my headache medicine, because sometimes that'll help. So that's really the only time I have pop anymore, is if I get a major headache, and then, yeah. So honey, I shrunk the kids, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> the doggy just looked up when he Yeah. Yeah, the man blew up the apple. It's the very beginning of the movie. And the dog's licking it off his glasses. Lazy day. So apparently I lied. Um, I did end up going out for the storm. I have been dying to get lightning shots on my camera camera. Um, if you have like been watching on my Instagram or my Facebook, you see I do post lightning shots, but they're all from my cell phone from an app I have to help take lightning pictures. And um, lightning photography is really tricky to me for some reason. I haven't mastered it yet and I really wanted to try to just practice. And I saw a storm coming up from the south that um, looked like it might have lightning in it. Uh, and so I called this other guy that I got connected with for a while ago and he just got a new camera and also wanted to test out the lightning um, shots. So we decided to go out to go shoot some lightning. Um, and in case any of you guys are wondering, I, I know I say he, and some of you guys are like, what, your husband's okay with you going out with other guys? 
Um, he is, which if it, the roles were reversed, I'm not sure I would be comfortable with him going out with other women to go do this, but um, he is very comfortable with it. And these guys are a lot older than me. Um, and it, it, it's nothing like that. It's we strictly have a passion for photography and storms. So when we go out to go chase these storms, that is what it is. We go out, we chase storms, and we take pictures of them, photograph them, videograph them, all that kind of stuff. It's it's nothing it's nothing like that. I just wanted to make sure you guys understood that there's nothing weird going on here or anything to worry about like that because that's not that's not the case. Um, it's just um, like groups of photographers and storm chasers that go out and enjoy themselves. So that's kind of what it is. And the reason it's men is because I just haven't found a woman yet to go with. I would actually much rather go with another woman, but it is what it is. <sighs> so anyway, um, so we went out and got some lightning shots. I got one and I obviously need practice. And I'm hoping next week, because we have a chance to storm the next week, so I'm hoping next week I can work on it a little bit more. Um, so, <sighs> what else? The boys, Jackson ended up going to bed after he finished his movie, and then uh, the big boys and Chris played a bunch of games of Risk, because that is one of the things Trevor bought with his money. And now they're finishing up, and they're going to go to bed. I'm in my pajamas already. Um, Chris has to do some work before work. So he works, he does some work at home. I don't know. Anyway, he's going to do that before he goes to bed, but he just wants to relax a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uploading this video because I would like this video to be up tomorrow. So it's more current than my other day in the life was. And I know this one was kind of choppy and here and there, and it's going to be kind of shorter probably, but it is what it is. I hope you guys had a great day, and um, thank you to my new subscribers. I saw I got quite a few new subscribers the past couple days, and I appreciate you guys joining along um, with me here on my channel. And um, if you ever have questions, because sometimes I know when you start up with a new uh, new channel and you're not familiar with their background story or anything like that, you kind of wonder what's going on. So if you have any, ever have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'm talking with my hands a lot. I know. So you can just leave them down below and if you have any video requests you can leave those below too and I would really love video requests especially during the month of August while we're doing VEDA here. And I'm going to quit talking so that I can start working on this because it's going to take forever. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Tomorrow. Bye.